Hey, how you doing? Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm making an omelette. So if you don't know how to make one, I'm going to show you how. But excuse me. All right. First of all, we whip up, whisk our eggs. And da -da -da -da, just like that, get them all nice and frothy. I put in this here. Yeah, can't see it. But what it says is 18% coffee cream. And so what that does, it's going to give it a, a fluffier texture. Okay, and uh, what else I'm doing here is I have my frying pan. I'm heating that up. I have my non-stick heat resistant super spatula. So, and what else I need? is some butter. Voila! Imperial. The margarine of kings. So, and then what I'm going to do is from here I'm letting the pan heat up, okay? I've got the eggs done, the uh, creams in there. Okay, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put the, some butter in the pan and you don't let the butter get too hot because the butter, butter will burn or margarine, it'll still burn and uh, but if you're using butter and you want to impart a kind of a nutmeg flavor without actually adding nutmeg you can burn butter and turn, it'll turn a, like a, a brown color or black depends on how much you burn it but anyways yeah, if that's it. Like, if you wanted to add that nutmeggy fla flavor into anything, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, uh, an omelet or scrambled eggs. It could be anything you're cooking with butter, and you want to add, add that nutmeg flavor. Um, that's what that is. So, and if you're a cook and, and you uh, happen to uh, work in a kitchen or whatever, and your chef asks for black butter. That's all that is, is burnt butter. So, he asks for black butter, just throw some butter in a pan, burn it. That's it. Anyway, so uh, what else? Okay, my pan is, oh, let's see, take a look here. I don't know if you can see this. My pan's getting like smoking hot right now. So, that's a little too hot for me. So, because I've been talking too much. <laughs> Now I take a spoon and a little bit of butter. It's a little too much. Okay, I'm gonna use about this much. Okay, you see that? And I'm also gonna put in some vegetable oil. There. Okay, you can use canola. You can use any kind of oil you want. Okay. Anyways, what this is gonna do by adding these two together. Okay is that's going to raise the burning temperature of the butter so the butter won't burn so it's like if you're cooking anything like frying anything and you want to add fl flavor but you don't want the butter to burn put a little bit of oil in with it so it makes it like almost like a 50 50 ratio and uh, not too much as you're going to deep fry your product whatever you're going to cook okay so um, whether it doesn't matter if you use butter or uh, margarine or any kind of that, mixing that with oil, any vegetable oil, corn oil, whatever, uh, um, it's going to raise the temperature, the burning temperature of your or smoking temperature, whatever you want to call it, of your butter. But remember this: that uh, each oils, whatever it is, canola oil, corn oil olive oil, each one has a different temperature on, on the smoking point. So canola oil here has a higher, uh, has a higher uh, smoking temperature than say extra virgin olive oil. But extra virgin olive oil you'd probably use more as on a salad or something. You don't really want to cook with it. Like olive oil is good for cooking but not extra virgin because uh, extra virgin is really um, it, uh, it all depends on how many presses the olive has gone through but 
Anyways, that's another story, okay? We'll talk about that later. Alright, so now I put the butter and the oil in the pan, and it's... You just mix it up just like this. Okay, now we're ready for the eggs. Okay. I, I wish I had someone else to be helping me with this. But I'll do my best, okay? So I don't want to spill that. Okay. And see, this part of the pan here, okay, it is also hot too. So when you're making an omelet, use that part of the pan. See? And see how the egg kind of sticks there? You take this. Well, uh, this pan is not that good. Plus, it's really hard to hold this um, and do this. There we go. The egg is starting to really set up now. As you can see here that it's sit really nice. But then I'm going right, to put so it ready. There you go. All right. Well, I took a little too long. See this? And I burnt the omelet. But some people don't want it like that. So now what I'm going to do? Grab my plate, ta-da, and my cheese. Turn the heat off. So I don't need that anymore. Put a little bit on the inside. I'm going to lose that. Okay. Ready? Fold it over. Bang right on the plate. There we go. You get the cheese. There we go. That's our omelet. Oh, and last thing, when you're done cooking, clean your kitchen. So, and when you do clean your kitchen, clean it like you were never there. Okay? So, as this, I have my frying pan and all that and that and that. So, I just gotta put all, all this stuff away. This stuff goes in the sink. That goes, goes in the cupboard, in the fridge. This is empty, so that goes in the garbage. That goes in the fridge. Just like that. And that goes in the fridge. That goes in the garbage. That goes in the garbage. Alright. There's our omelet again. It's a few minutes later. As you can see, just the heat from the uh, egg alone is melting the cheese. So you can see all along here there. I don't know if you can see that. It's I've got butter all over my camera. Uh, it's, this is horrible. Uh, here's a little life lesson. If you're going to vlog uh, and cook with butter or margarine or whatever, um, try and get someone else to hold the camera for you while you're doing this. 